Hey, what is up you guys? It's Armando Torres here back with another unboxing. This time on a watch that I feel I picked up at an extremely great time, really great value in this watch and I'll explain why. So when I first bought this watch and I bought this watch twice, again, I will explain. So I saw this watch and it was 30% off its regular $400 retail price with shipping and taxes all included. It came out to 305, which I felt was a tremendous steal for what you get. I kid you not, the very next day, this same watch was 40% off as opposed to 30. So that was an extra $40 of savings. So with everything calculated, it came out to 260. And I said, like, if I could get this watch for under 300, like that's already a great steal, but for 260, like that's a really great value. So the first time it was 260 without taxes and shipping and everything included. So it was about 260 plus taxes and shipping. It was about $305. With the 40% off, it was actually 240, I believe, with taxes and shipping, and then it came out to 260. So I purchased the watch again, not knowing if I could actually return the first one and get it for a steal at 260. Thankfully, it all worked out. I ended up purchasing this watch for 260 some odd dollars. So I actually ended up purchasing it for $262, which I feel is a tremendous steal for this style of watch. And I've mentioned this watch before on previous unboxings previous mentions of this watch have happened on this channel and i finally have the one that i want in my possession just randomly i was just randomly looking for this watch for no reason i found it for like three something maybe 400 on amazon uk i was just going through images i was like let me see where i could find this watch the cheapest and who would have thought that the cheapest I found this watch was on the Invicta website itself? And I feel like I completely ran away with this one. The timing was just perfect for this watch. And uh, I decided to pull the trigger on it. And now we're going to unbox it. So here we go. Before we do, I know I've been rambling for a little bit here. So um, before we actually do a full unboxing, I do want to do a quick wrist check. So I am rocking the Orient Kamasu, which I feel has been a great everyday style watch. It's a dive watch with 200 meters of water resistance, uh, sapphire crystal. It's got great loom on it as well. Great automatic movement, just running a little bit fast, but nothing to complain about at all. So it's actually a 41 and a half millimeter case um, on an oyster style bracelet. And I feel like it wears actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would. Um, but that just makes it an even classier kind of more versatile style of watch so you can wear it for more occasions basically it could be a more of a dressy watch or more of an everyday t-shirt and jeans kind of watch and with everything going on with the coronavirus and everything it's nice that we have something with a day and a date feature I find that very helpful because sometimes the days blend together and I it's hard to know what day it is sometimes so that's what I've been wearing on my wrist lately. This watch, the one in this box, is going to be somewhat comparable to this Orient Kamasu, but this one is going to be a lot more spec heavy and I feel a lot more value for money. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Not really sure which way is up and how it's packaged inside, but we'll take a look. Maybe if I cut every side, it'll just unfold. Let's see. Ooh, that's the right way. And there it is, guys. Glycine since 1914 so pretty good heritage with the glycine watches some people have not been a fan of the new glycine watches because of you know they're coming out with bigger sizes and still i think pretty interesting colorways but 
really the fact that they're coming out with bigger sized watches is kind of it's a it's a telltale sign that they are now owned by Invicta so some people like them some people don't I will be the judge for myself I've owned one Invicta in the past it's the pro diver with the scallop bezel version it was like way too fast for a Seiko NH35 in my point of view every day getting like 10 15 seconds fast so that was just too much for me I feel this one will run a heck of a lot better considering that it is a Swiss made watch with an ETA 2824-2 movement or should I say a modified ETA 2824 movement so it is actually specific to glycine so they actually modify it a little bit to make it a little more different so they decorate it basically they decorate it a little bit differently and but essentially it's an ETA 2824 so definitely a grail watch feel and i've mentioned that with one other watch in the past which is the main hudson similar packaging as the main hudson and actually similar similar dimensions as well so i feel that ooh, did you guys see that wow that's lame that is lame guys I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the thing i'm not even feeling it i'm not even looking at it Okay, I'm looking at it. That is ridiculously nice, guys. That is a really nice watch. Sucky packaging, but it did come all the way from Hollywood. No, not Hollywood, Los Angeles. Hollywood, Florida. And you'll feel whichever way you want to feel about that. What I was saying before I saw the poorly packaged watch in this thing was that this watch is probably the most comparable in terms of size even packaging movement etc to the main hudson so the main hudson is probably going to be its direct competition but it's it's nice to have a variety of different watches one from a micro company that's coming up and, and definitely making big moves and one from a more established company that has a more obviously more heritage than the newer company and therefore more experience in what works and maybe what doesn't work 60 click bezel which is interesting i feel like this is my first 60 click bezel i want to say that uh, but no play which is nice there you go let's make sure it works yeah it works so screw down crown it is a 42 millimeter case 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip screw down crown 200 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal 60 click bezel date right there framed at the three o'clock and uh really really satisfying movement right there um, i went with the gray bezel version so it's kind of like a gunmetal gray but yeah closed case back right there in the back with the two seals loads of micro adjustments right here and a milled clasp that looks really nice really really thin construction on this one that's probably what everyone says about this watch is how thin it is and the curvature of those lugs will make this really really hug your wrist so even though it's a 42 millimeter case with 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip it will still fit most wrists really well I feel and hopefully mine is no exception. I'm gonna throw this guy on wrist and size it up. I'll take off the plastic before I do. There's a little bit of scuffing on here. I don't know what that's about. So there it is with all of the plastic taken off now. There was a little bit of scuffing on this, but it was easily removable. So I'm not going to complain about it. 
The only thing I really can complain about is not even the watch itself so far. It's really the fact that one, I bought this watch on April 7th and I didn't get it until the 29th. So I waited 22 days for this watch to get here, which I completely understand coronavirus, but they were telling me that I might not even get the watch if it was out of stock and that they would refund me if I did not get the watch. So I'm happy that I got the watch because again, I do feel like it was a great value. Invictus customer service was pretty good in keeping me updated. I did get this from the official Invictus store as mentioned. So I guess I have a, a limited warranty through Invicta, but these watches are meant to be super tough and super reliable. So I'm gonna go ahead and size this watch up and I will show you guys what it looks like on my wrist. So guys, here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. As you can see, very nice looking watch. It fits my wrist pretty well with the curvature in those lugs. I definitely feel the 50 millimeter heft to it, but it feels almost as compact it's compact but it's pretty big at the same time for example if i compare this directly to my main hudson which has also similar dimensions and we can actually do the dimensions right now with the caliper so i'll show you guys real quick what we're looking at here in terms of case 41.94 so pretty accurate as far as it being a 42 millimeter case now the lug to lug length there to there 50.50 50.50 so those are actually very similar dimensions to my main hudson mark ii as we can see here also a swiss made the same movement actually 28 24 2 in this one as well as in the glycine but the glycine like i said is is customized so they call it something else they call it the glycine caliber gl224 so pretty much an eta 2824 and you can see that even on here they look vastly different despite having very similar dimensions so i'll show you guys what those dimensions are as well so my main coming in at pretty much 42.2 and then lug tip to lug tip, we're looking at 50.72. So also 42 mil, also 50 mil lug tip to lug tip. Yeah, this one does not wear as, it, it feels bigger on this one. And not just because of the thickness, which comes in a little bit bigger on my main. And I'll get more into comparisons in future videos, guys, rather than just the dimensions. I will get into specs and, and reviews and comparison videos, as well as my recommendations for best watches at certain price tiers. Those types of videos are coming up, guys. But you can see here, 12, 12.65, pretty much 12 mil thick, um, over 12 mil thick. And the impressive thing about this, again, similar very similar lug lengths but the curvature on the glycine is a lot better i'm actually going to do a comparison video on all of these and uh yeah so so this watch comes in at 10.6 or so which is the official listing on joma shop I, i'm looking at that for reference but uh you got a nice milled clasp on this as well oyster style bracelet fold over clasp which is very secure but it's super comfortable right off the back even more comfortable than some of my other watches. The Orient, for example, took some getting used to with this style of bracelet, but once I did, once I got the sizing right, I really like how it fits now. Yeah, but like I said, guys, we're gonna get more into my picks for certain watches in certain categories. Those videos are to come, guys, but this is gonna be kind of its main competition. <laughs> Okay, um, but these two are really comparable in a lot of ways. But as mentioned, I think I got this thing at a ridiculously great price, guys. It came in and I did have to wait for it for a really long time. And I almost had it canceled uh, the second time that I ordered it, which again, I ordered this thing twice because getting this watch with this movement and these specs and this just kind of really, really nice rugged watch with a military kind of tactical um, look to it as well as the 200 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal which i will check for you guys right here you can check here it is in fact one two 
orange bars. So Sapphire Crystal for sure. Oh, I went off. It was so strong. So Sapphire Crystal for sure and definitely great specs all around. I think a great size for a lot of people. Again, I have a six and a half inch wrist and it fits my wrist really, really well for reference. It feels very Submariner-esque. Obviously, it is a dive style watch. It is a dive watch that is very Submariner, but it's also very much its own thing. And I think it has a very masculine kind of, especially with this gunmetal kind of gray bezel i think it looks really really good thin enough that you can wear it you know with a button down shirt or also like a very um kind of everyday beater if you wanted it to or even a t-shirt and jeans kind of vibe going on with this thing but it's very rugged and you can also you know you can take it to the pool for example it has a really really nice screw down crown it's very easy to activate date right there at the three o'clock as well all in all guys i am very happy with this watch it definitely looks black in this lighting even though it is meant to be sort of more of a gunmetal gray i feel like this is kind of my preferred just a black dial watch with a black bezel if we're talking dive watches and that style is very apparent in all of my watches that i've gotten lately and in fact one watch that i've got on the way watches are coming left and right guys so it's definitely a good quarantine there's not much to do so i just have watches come to me and that's how i that's how i've been getting by but uh let me know what you guys think of this watch guys i think that it's a very attractive watch and you get a lot for your money especially if you can find these things for 300 dollars or so i was so excited when i got this watch for 305 dollars, guys i was so stoked i thought i had hit the jackpot and i had found it and that's what made me pull the trigger i pulled the trigger way too quick because again the very next day and victor was having a freaking sale that took another forty dollars off so it came out to 260 after all and for that price i i'm super happy with this piece i really feel like this is going to become one of my favorite pieces this is the glycine gl0076 and that's the gray gunmetal version it's automatic swiss made right there uh, submariner-esque but definitely got its own thing going on and uh, I think that this is definitely a very charming, very good looking watch. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of Glycine? What do you guys think of Invicta? I feel like I know what most people will say, but I want to know what you guys think genuinely. Let me know what you guys think about this watch. What do you guys think about combat subs? Is there another Glycine that you guys want to see? Give this video a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Stay safe.